Okay, in the previous video, we got an S3 bucket setup, and we got to a point where we could list a, all the files that are in our bucket. So I'll begin this part by creating a form in which we could upload a new file and store it in our bucket. Okay, so going back to our files template, um, we're gonna create this new form. We're gonna create right above the table. I'll create a new form element and we'll give us a class of upload form. And so for the action, um, we'll give it an endpoint of upload. And we'll get, just so we can have some spacing, we'll give it, we'll have a paragraph tag. And so we need an input type of file. And then we're gonna need a submit button. And we're gonna give it a couple bootstrap classes, button and button primary. That'll just give it some styling and turn it blue for us. And we'll just call it upload. Okay, so if we save that and run it. Okay, we refresh so we can click to choose our file and then we can go ahead and upload. So now that we set our form action to upload, so we need to create an endpoint and a route to handle that. So we can do that here in app.py. Okay, in our route, so we're, so we're gonna be posting to this, so we can restrict the methods that we will allow. So we're only gonna accept uh, post requests. So uh, we'll have the key name method, or the, the keyword argument methods. And we need to pass in a list. And post is gonna be the only thing in it, because that's all that we're accepting. So I'm gonna create a new variable called file. And so we, what we need is request.files. And actually that is going to be a list. I'm sorry, a dictionary key. So, um, so in order to use request, we actually have to import it. So I'm gonna scroll to the top and then add to our render template from Flask. We're also gonna import request. And so let's create a new S3 resource. And so using our Boto3 library, um, so we can get our resource. Now we need to get the bucket object. So we'll just call this my bucket. And our S3 buckets, looks like it's doubling up for some reason. Okay, so passing in our constant, which is our S3 uh, bucket name that we set in our config in our, or our environment variables. So using our bucket object, we need to pass in the file name. So when we pull in this file, um, there's a property that's going to be file name. And then we need to call the put method on our bucket object to put the item into the, from our, the file that we uploaded into the bucket. And so we need to pass in a keyword argument of body and that's gonna be equal to our file. And for now, we'll just return uploaded. Okay, with that, we can turn return to the web browser. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try and upload a file. And let's go to our documents. So we chose a file, one.jpg. So the request.files. Okay, so we do have an issue with our form. So let's return to our files template. So we need to add an encoding type and it's going to be multi-part form data. And so we go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and try and rerun it. I hit the back button and return to the previous page. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the file again. 
And so we got the message saying it was uploaded. So if we return to our files page and refresh, um, so we did get our uh, JPEG image file, it did get uploaded. However, for a better user experience, what we want to do is once, as soon as the file is uploaded, we can redirect back to the uh, files page. Okay, so inside of app.py, we need to import a couple of other things. So in order to put in a redirect, we need to import a redirect from Flask. And then we also need URL4. And so instead of just returning just a string, what we're going to do is return the redirect. And inside of that, uh, we need URL4. And then we need to pass in our route, and our route is going to be files. OK, so if we upload another file, we should automatically be redirected. So I'm going to upload 2.jpg this time. And it's going to take a second or two for it to upload. OK, and then we got rerouted back in our second uh, time the page loaded. Our file is um, on S3. Okay, so when we got redirected back to our files page, the file, yes, it, it is showing up in our table. However, it would be nice if we got a flash message, message saying that, yes, your file was uploaded. So let's return to the editor. And so we're going to import this time, we're going to import flash. So in order to give, put, up, put out a flash mes message, um, Flask fortunately has something that is already built in for us. So let's return to the top of our file and add flash to that. And so we, bef right before the redirect, we have to set the flash mes message. And it's just a simple helper method. All we need to do is pass in a message. Now, in order to display the flash messages, we'll have to make some changes to our template. So let's return to our files template. And we're going to put that right under the um, created a uh, statement for our bucket. And what we need to do is set up a context manager. I'm using with. And so there's a built-in function, get flash, get flash messages. So I meant to type in end with. So we want to make sure that flash messages is actually set. So we're going to have an if statement. So we're checking for the variable messages. So if, if messages is set, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a bootstrap info a background. It's going to give it this, uh, give us like a blue back, a light blue background inside of a box, kind of like an info message. So it'll make it more no noticeable. And so we need the class of BG info. And like I said, Bootstrap will provide the styling for us. And let's actually give it some extra styling. We're going to give it some padding. And we'll just give it uh, 15 pixels on all, basically on every side. And once we have our paragraph, uh, what we could do is set up a for loop. So for message and messages, let's make sure that we close our tag. And if there are multiple, um, we'll just have a line break in between, uh, in between each one, but they'll just be within the same paragraph. Okay, and let's return to the browser and then I'm going to upload a third file. So that'll be 3.jpg. Okay, so in order to use the flash message, what we need to do is set the secret key. And this is the secret key for the flash application, um, not, the, not anything to do with the S3 bucket. So let's just go ahead and just make one up and stick it in there for now. So right when we um, create our app, um, we'll just call this secret. And let's return to the browser. And we're gonna hit the back button and reload our files page. 
So it's like our file did get uploaded. It was towards the end of the method when it was going to redirect us. Um, so we'll just uh, pick another one. And we'll go ahead and upload. And we got our flash message saying that our file was uploaded successfully. So in part three, what we did was we created a new file upload form and now we're, upload, we're able to upload our files to get them into our S3 bucket. So in the next video, we'll handle downloading and deleting. Thank you for watching.